In the next few videos, we're going to cover the excretory system. This video is going to introduce the different structures of the excretory system and also discuss the functions of the kidneys. In this diagram, you can see there are a number of structures in the excretory system. At the top, we have the kidneys that have the important role of eliminating waste from the blood by producing urine. This urine is carried from the kidneys to the bladder by tubes called ureters. The bladder serves as the storage unit for urine, and the urethra carries the urine from the bladder to outside the body. For LAMCAT, you do need to know a bit about this regulation of urination. In particular, there are two urinary sphincters. One is called the internal urinary sphincter, and the other is the external urinary sphincter. The internal urinary sphincter is made of smooth muscle, so it's under involuntary control. The external urinary sphincter is made of skeletal muscle and is under voluntary control. So this is essentially how we are able to control urination with the external urinary sphincters. Okay. So let's look a bit at the kidneys, and in this diagram, you can see a little bit more details on the anatomy of the kidney. So in particular, you need to take note that the kidneys receive blood supply from the artery, and blood that passes through the kidney is then returned to the body through the renal vein. In addition, you can see that the outer layer of the kidneys is called the renal cortex, and the inner part of the kidney is called the renal medulla. Okay, so the functions of the kidney. We can think of the kidney as having three main functions. The first is excretory, and we've discussed this already. The kidney eliminates waste from the blood by producing urine. In particular, the kidney removes soluble nitrogenous waste, salts, as well as excess water from the blood. A second important function of the kidney is regulatory. So as part of urine production and excretion of waste and salts and water, the kidneys are helping to regulate the volume and composition of blood. So if the blood volume is too low, then the kidney is going to decrease urine output to help maintain the blood volume. And at the same time, if someone drinks a bunch of water, then the blood volume will increase, so the kidney will respond by increasing the volume of urine. The third function of the kidney is an endocrine function. So the kidney does have roles in secreting renin, erythropoietin, and also converts vitamin D produced from the skin into its active form, which is called calcitriol. Now, renin is technically not a hormone. It's really an enzyme, and we'll talk more about this later when we talk about the renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system for regulating blood pressure. Erythropoietin is an important hormone that acts on the blood marrow to stimulate the production of red blood cells. Calcitriol helps to increase blood calcium by stimulating calcium reabsorption in the intestines.